I'm Johnny. Uh, kind of forgot to clean the camera this time. Whoops. Clean my glasses, too. And it's time for YouTube reviews. So a number of years ago, we stopped paying for cable because, frankly, we weren't really watching it as a family anymore. The less we watch TV, the more we start to watch YouTube, the more we started to find some YouTube content that was great for all of us. So today's episode is going to be a little bit short, but I'm going to point in the direction of some other YouTubers out there that are really amazing and have some really, really groovy videos that are worth watching. And uh, I hope these guys and gals make more because goddamn, they're awesome. The first one extra credits. Now these guys got this whole like squeaky voice going on and it's a little bit weird. Um, but I like their art style and more importantly, they go deep into some rabbit holes all about game design. That might seem like a Baroque topic, but it's actually very fascinating whether or not you play games or whether or not you're into design. And it's interesting the specific challenges that game designers have when they do their job and also how game design does relate to design in general. Nerdwriter1. Now this guy is solid. I haven't gone through his entire catalog of work, but so far I'm quite impressed. He recently did a critical review of Inside Out. And I mean, I just watched that the other night. I know I'm late to the party. Now I watched it just the right time because as a movie, it had something to show me when it comes to emotional intelligence and was a message that I really needed to hear. So I appreciated that. But I also appreciated the fact that this was kind of like an emotional intelligence training video for the young uns. But nerd writer, talk about your deep ass rabbit holes. You. He goes deep into it. He goes really deep into what emotions mean, the emotional, th like, ah. Oh. Some people don't appreciate this level of criticism, but I do a lot. I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm gonna. Vihart. She does these amazing mathematical explanation videos. If you watch my little draw explanation videos where I talk about the TB303 or saturators or ramble on about pentatonic Arisian modes, this is a direct influence here. She's very passionate about what she speaks about. She's very knowledgeable without being overbearing. And I'm saving this last one for last because it's the last. Three blue, one brown. And it hurts my brain in some really good ways. He does this intuitive explanation about e to the i pi equals negative one. It's one of the most beautiful formulas in mathematics, blah, blah, blah. It's almost mystical in significance, but this guy just dispenses with any notion of mysticism and just focuses on brass tacks. He's also a very eloquent speaker quite poetic his videos are the kind of videos that you're going to want to watch again and again and again and again unless you're really good at math like scary good at math and i know some of you are and even those who are scary at math i think there might be something in these videos for you as well so i've really just just lightly scratched the surface of phenomenal youtube content out there I've left out a lot of the big players because honestly, they don't need more views, but I've probably missed a number of smaller time players that they really deserve to be called out because of their amazing work. So I'd love to hear about them. What are the YouTubers out there really need more exposure because their content really is that good? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, YouTube is fun.